Kings and Mary Meet. My name is Leland, Reverend High Priest Leland Davis, Reiki Master Teacher. Today we'll be discussing stones and some general metals. Um, before we begin, I would highly, highly recommend that you f obtain one of these books. Love is in the Earth. I Kaleidoscope of Crystals by Melody. Now, no matter how much I go over today, this book will go over all that plus a whole bunch more. So I highly, highly recommend that you do so. You get this book. It's like the Jim Hunter's book of your dreams. Now, in the last episode, um, I did cover the colors. I would like to go over the colors again because going over the colors is very important uh, when dealing with stones because whatever color the stone is it has these properties of the colors and will go over plus whatever the material it is made of so I want to read over the colors real quick excuse me um, the color green is for herbal magic healing Prosperity, love, fertility, and nature. Brown is protection of phys physical objects, magic for animals, and stability. Yellow is for communication, legalities, attraction, meditation, and the element of air. Orange is attraction, luck, deities of luck, good fortune, and encouragement. Remember, when you're doing any kind of luck spell, it's gonna, you're not guaranteed good luck. It's just luck in general. And so you could get bad luck. So keep that in mind if you're intending on doing anything with a luck spell. Um, now, there are ways of, you know, increasing your good luck by using good luck charms. But that's using charms, and today we're going over stones. So, um, you, you know, you can use certain stones for luck as well, but we'll, that's going to be for another topic for another day. Red is sexual love, protection, courage, vital health, and deities of love. Blue is healing, cleansing, Peace, truth, wisdom, and tranquility. Now, some people would say that water, like blue, is, is not a healing color, but I disagree. Because blue is like the representation of water. And water is cleansing. And because it is cleansing, it is also a form of healing. As we discussed in the last episode. Um, purple is power, spiritual, spirituality, healing, um, prophecy, and reversing curses. White, protection, purity, truth, elemental spirits in general, angels, and prophecy. Black, which has a bad rap, actually helps with absorption of, na of native energies, destruction of negativity, Banish evil and also helps with protection. So black and white are your main primary candles. White can be represented for God and the black can be represented for the goddess. Silver is um, feminine energy, lady goddess, governs emotions, and yin, which is feminine energy. Gold is masculine energy, Lord God governs intellect and is yang masculine energy. Now, uh, copper and bronze um, is love, passion, friendship, and, and business, as well as uh, career promotions. And finally, gray neutral, uh, is like neutralized negative influences and puts a halt to action. So if something bad is going on, so gray is the perfect one to go for. 
Now there are uh, ways of cleaning your stones and uh, before I go into different types of stones uh, we, I would like to first talk about that uh, one, you can soak in sea salt water for one to three days and direct either sunlight or moonlight. Now depending on how you feel, some people will say moonlight's better, some people will say sunlight is better. Doesn't matter which one you think is better. Which one, whatever one you think is better is the one you should use. But three days in either one of those would, would work um, in cleansing the stone. Now there are some stones that um, I would not recommend um, soaking um, in, um, in sea salt water because, uh, like say, for example, pyrite is I'm made of iron and it will rust. Um, amethyst can lose its color if it's set out in the sun for too long, um, and we're talking about like like. Like it has to get really hot. They can it actually can make it change colors and lose its some of its purple. Um, I definitely rec um, suggest that um, you do not put in turquoise. It's a very poor stone, and it can cause issues. If you're going to do it, do it only once and try your best not to do it again. Um, let's see. Lapis and selenite um, are not recommended to be um, to be used in that, in that matter, but um, it's totally up to you because some stones are brittle as a, as it is, um, like uh, desert rose, for instance. Putting that in salt water would cause it to you know, slowly degrade and fall apart. So you wouldn't want to put your desert rose in um, in the water. But there's other ways to cleanse your your stones. You can smudge them with sage. You know, just pass it a sage over the uh, stone um, and to cleanse it. You can pass it through candlelight. Uh, we can breathe and visualize that the stones have been cleansed of all native energies and um, have been grounded. Um, you can set moonlight best if done during the full moon. So basically you want to do it the day before, the day of, and the day after. Or you can do two days before the full moon and the day of the full moon. It really depends. I prefer to do the day of. Uh, the day before, the day of, the day after, because you know you have the maximum amount of moonlight that you can possibly get at those, at those three points. Um, set in sunlight to charge your stones and crystals. Um, bury in sand or soil for 24 hours. So yes, by burying these your stones and crystals, which will make them very dirty. Uh, we'll cause to cl cleanse them and knock the negative energy off. Um, let's see, bury and brown rice overnight, uh, rinse or soak with rainwater, and that would be something you would have to sit out and collect, like, um, sit out like a bottle or something and collect the rainwater to do that with. Um, place stones and crystals in a cluster or a geode of clear quartz or amethyst or even citrine would help to charge them. Now, there are some stones here specifically I would like to go over. Um, now this is not a complete list of all the stones, but it is a list of, of stones. So if you have any of these stones, you know these are going to be your most commonly found stones in a metaphysical store. Please forgive me while I take a sip of my drink. So the first thing I want to do is talk about agate. Now there's many, 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 many different types of agate, as you'll soon find out. But agate in general, we're just talking about just, just general agate. If it has agate in its name, it's good for grounding, raises your consciousness, overcomes bitterness, and inner anger. 
So it overcomes bitterness and inner anger. Any kind of agate. Doesn't matter what kind of agate it is. Fire agate sends native, ener native energy back to the sender and also has the properties of agate. Which is what we went over with the grounding, rising of consciousness, overwhelms bitterness and inner, inner anger. Amazon Knight soothes emotions, eliminates aggravation, nerves. The is also known as the Hope Hope Stone. And so, like say, um, if you are one of those people that are worry warts or you know have a lot of worry or a lot of anxiety, Amazon Knight would be a good stone for you. Amber, although amber is not a stone, it is or a resin, but it is petrified wood, um, not petrified wood, but petrified um, sap. Um, we, we're still including that in the stones to go over because it's still a very popular thing to have. It helps with right decisions, happiness, wisdom, regains memory loss, has the ability to draw disease from the body. It's good for healing. That should be the number one thing you should know about um, amber. It's good for healing. Because it was the lifeblood of the tree. So it is the lifeblood of, you know, of the earth. So it's that petrified for your use. This next one I'm going to try to pronounce. Please uh, forgive me. This one is a really hard one. It's M. Blygonite. I'll spell it. It is A M B L Y G O N I T E. In part, sense of immortality. Now, doesn't mean it makes you immortal. In parts, it makes you think that you're immortal, which may not necessarily be a great thing. But if you're uh, depressive and um, feel like very suicidal, you know, maybe that would be a good stone for you to help. Helps one to recognize and identify coexistence of opposite and conflicting feelings. So if if you're a cutter or a person who really needs um, that extra self-confidence boost, that stone would be definitely be um, helpful to you. Um, amethyst is for spirituality, meditation, and contentment. You know, just holding an amethyst just makes you just be content in the moment. And then every time I touch my amethyst, it's just like, ah, I feel like I'm just in the moment. Next one is the Apache Cheer. It relieves good grief and good for vision quests. And there's a story that when during the Trail of Tears, the tears that fell from the cheeks of the women as they passed along the Trail of Tears became the, uh, the Apache Tear. That's just Native American lore. Um, appetite, spelled A-P-A-T-I-T-E, reduces appetite. And helps with stuttering. So if you have an appetite problem, then appetite would be good for you. And also would help if you have a stuttering problem like I just had. <laughs> so I need me some appetite. Um, another one here is... I'm going to try to pronounce it. Is a Aophilite. And I'll spell it A P O L P H Y L I T E. Helps connect the, uh, to your chakra records. And that right there is the records that exist in, he in heaven or in somewhere land or wherever you believe your spiritual path leads at the end of life. Your records of, where your, of all your soul and the decisions that your soul made. That you would have to endure during this lifetime. So, and also previous lifetimes, before 
before now. It creates consciousness between the physical and the spiritual realms. Aquamarine. Thought, um, thought moderation brings tolerance and protects against pollution. Agon agonite is deep, peaceful meditation and uplifts emotions. So, deep, peaceful meditation. And so, also it uplifts your emotions. So, we, that right there is a really good stone to have on you when you're feeling depressed. Aventurine green. There's more than one color of aventurine. Prosperity heals emo emotional pain and fear. Universal love and truth. Now let's go back to the word green. What is green known for? Healing and prosperity. So you see how the, the color right there um, shows itself with the, the color green. Um, Aventurine Peach, Creativity, Prosperity, helps to see alternatives and possibilities. Azurite, Psychic Development, Indecision, and Worry. Once again, this is really good for anyone that's got a lot of anxiety or the worry war. Um, Azurite, also known as, uh, excuse me, this Malachite. So, it's, this has two different stones. It's Azurite, Malachite, so it's like two different stones in one, which unlocks spiritual vision, brings deep healing, emotional, and skin disorders. Which Malachite by itself does all that. So, um, Baritine, um, pronounce, um, spell B R B A R I T E. So it's Barite, but also known as Baritine. Um, incentive to go for one's dreams without restraint, friendship, harmony, and honesty, and dignity. Now this next one is bismuth mineral. Relieves emotional isolation and lets you feel connected to all that is. Bloodstone, that's a very popular one you'll find in most New Age stores. Uh, stone of Courage, Age, um, Recognition that Chaos Precedes Transformation. So once again, uh, you have to have Chaos before you have some kind of positive transformation. So good always comes from the bad. Another popular one you'll find in the New Age stores is your Blue Lace Agate. Comms, Arthritis. If for arthritis, it's good for fractures, lifts thoughts, and it's inspiring. Boji stones. Sometimes you find these in the New Age stores. They're male and female stones that you must keep separate. Uh, heals holes in the auric field. So basically, you don't put them together. You keep them separate, and, um, and you can be used to heal someone's aura. Bronzite, stone of curiosity, helps achieve a state of, of certainty without wishing, uh, willfulness. So once again, that's stone of curiosity. Curiosity. All right. So the next one is calcite, um, which is pink. So we're going to call this calcite pink. Helps mind and body remember. 
Then we have calcite blue, good for communication, it eases back um, back pain. We have calcite green, it helps against infections, which is a form of healing uh, from um, from stagnant to positive balances mentality. Calcite orange dissolves problems and maximizes potential happiness and humor. Carnelian protects against fear, clears negativity and sorrow. If you do not have a um, fire agate, you can substitute the carnelian for that for now. Because uh, carnelian is very common, whereas the fire agate is pretty rare. But you can find the fire agate um, usually on Amazon.com or other online websites or gem and mineral shows, which I highly recommend going to if you've never been to one. They're very fun. Um, Celestite. Now, once again, this is another one that you'll find in New Age stores. Um, infinity, you know, infinite peace, contacts angels, stimulates clairvoyance, dream recall. So that right there is, once again, a very good stone to have. Um, and I recommend everyone having a piece of that. Now this next one, I'm going to try to pronounce. It's kind of long, and then I'll spell it. It's... Chow can thight C H A L C A N T H I T E. It's a bright blue color and eliminates feelings of abandonment and re restraint. Good for arthritis and weather and water retention. All right. Charoite, C H A R O I T E, soul stone that overcomes fear, great for alcohol detoxification, perfect for the for the alcoholic in your family. Next one is. I'm going to mess with pronounce this one too, so I do apologize. It's Chris Appraise, C H R Y S O P R A S E. Relaxation Stone, Acceptance, Forgiveness, Peaceful Sleep. Next one is Citrine. Citrine is a stone that you don't necessarily ever have to, you know, charge um, or cleanse because it's just one of those stones that just doesn't need it. You can do it any way if you want to, but it also helps energize other stones near it. So it's good to have a piece of citrine. But what it's good for is optimism, wealth, patience, clears allergies, and is a shaman's tool. It is a shaman's tool because it helps clear out other native energies of other stones. So it's always good to have a piece of citrine and with we are a stone bag. Desert Rose um, Selenite helps with addictive behaviors, panic attacks, and quit uh, quiets worry. Um, next one is Dolomite, and it's spelled D-O-L-O-M-I-T-E, soothes hurt, loneliness, anxiety, filtrates, facilitates generous, uh, generous spirit. Next one, it's going to be a hard one, it's, um, they pronounce dumb o Ty uh, Dumotirite D U M O R T I E R I T E. It's blue. It relaxes um, excessively, eliminates stubbornness. So, like if you're a Taurus, like me, 
um, who is very can be very stubborn, um, and you don't want to be stubborn. This could be a very good stone that could help you. Emerald stone of successful love, inspiration, patience, and wisdom. Emeralds are also green, which also means they are also a healing stone. But emerald is the stone of successful love, who is known for. Um, Fushite, F-U-C-H-S-I-T-E. It's light. It helps with light heartedness, friendly, friendliness. Where you basically you don't have any friends, um, compassion, and um, carpal tunnel syndrome. If you don't know what carpal, carpal tunnel syndrome, it's where your arm hurts like right up in here to even hurt where right where to right, and it's like a severe pain. And you'll usually see it in older the older generation. Fluoride. Balancer, healer, seeing truth and reality brings order to chaos. Next is garnet red, which garnet has two different colors. Garnet red aids commitment to purpose, inspires love, relative. Revitalizes energy and courage. Garnet green attracts into relationships what you need for, and what you need for development. So whatever it is you need for development in a relationship, the the green garnet will assist you. Halite, spelled H O L L I T E, another very very common stone. Um, very, Probably too common because sometimes when you go to some of these places like Spencer's, they'll try to pass off highlight as um, as uh, what a, as turquoise, and they'll, what they'll do is they'll paint it or dye it, and it'll make you think that it is um, turquoise when it really is not. It's actually highlight or highlight, and it helps with anger, rage. Brings gentleness and patience, uh, deepens sleep. And it's a white stone, but like I said, they can dye it green or blue and make you think that it is um, turquoise. So be careful of that. Jade, Prince of Peace and Tranquility, Health wealth and long life. That's why the Chinese really value jade over all other stones. And it's a good stone to have in your stone bag. Now we're about to go through a couple of different jaspers and you're going to see why the colors are very important. Jasper blue sustains energy during fastening and it connects to spiritual this, to the spiritual world. Jasper leopard skin is journeying and dreaming. Jasper mukanite, or which is M O O K A I T E, encourages versatility, imparts desire for new experiences, and keep calm to face. To face them. Jasper Pitcher. So, Pitcher Jasper. Looks like it has a pitcher in it. Um, usually, on many different kinds of designs. Brings hidden thoughts, grief, fears, and hopes to the surface. Also, great for the business world. Excellent for pursuits that need increased in personal holding. So if I see you doing a business deal and you want the, you know, the, all the bad things to surface so you can know if you're having a good deal or a bad deal, that would be when you would want to have that picture Jasper. Red Jasper. Prolonged sexual pleasure. Impotence. The 
Supreme Jasper, what it's known as. So if you are very, if you're a very um, sexual person, uh, red jasper would be very good for you. Silver leaf jasper helps achieve goals, determinate, determination, courage, honesty. It helps with uh, unpleasant tasks and circulation and energy flow. Jasper Yellow, so Yellow Jasper, protects during spiritual work and channels positive energy. So if you're doing any kind of spiritual work or channeling energy, you definitely would want to have a piece of Yellow Jasper to help aid in that. Jet, it's a uh, fossilized wood, looks like coal, but it's very, very light, and it's black, it's usually black. Draws out negative, uh, draws out the negative, alleviates unreasonable fears, and it's protective. So any kind of black stone is protective, remember? And now we have um, Kuzite in blue, which compulsions, loving, communication, Spiritual stone strengthens the healer, healers and teachers. So if you're a healer and, and or a teacher, it will help replenish you and help strengthen you. This next one is cyanite blue in color. Enhances psychic images, foresight, communication, and meditation. So if you're trying to um, enhance your psychic abilities and um, your images that you see. That's when this stone could be of use. Um, can I green? Um, dis dispels anger, age, dream, recall, tranquility, help recall past lives. Sorry, give me just one moment. Labradite, L A B R A, yep, L A B R A D O R I T E, Labradorite, Labradorite, transforms, synthesizes intellect with intuition, stone of mystery and magic, can also help with weight loss. Hey, we could all lose a little bit of weight loss, right? Especially me. Uh, lapis. Stone of, en of enlightenment. Expands intu intuition. The key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. Shyness. Autism. MS, which is mus muscular dystrophy. Speech and hearing. Next one is Lemurian, Lemurian Seed Crystal, and I'm going to spell that L E M U R I A N. Program to transmit oneness to oneness with message of love and e equality. They have a barcode on the the striated edges, so it looks like it has a barcode in it into it. Um, Lepidorite, which is L-E-P-I-D-O-L-I-T-E. -E. Openness, honesty, reduces stress, insomnia, anxiety, brings hope. Alright, so I'm going to kind of skip through some of these and go directly towards it can go on and on, and I'm going to try to actually focus on the ones that you're going to actually see in the stores. Like, like um, this Malachite, Stone of Transformation, Spiritual of Evolution, Money, re Releases and Draws Out Inflammation, Moldavite. Um, if you don't have a piece of Moldavite, 
get you a piece of motor on it. Just, just saying. It, it, you got to save your money and just, just go ahead and just get you a piece of motorbike. Alright, so let's let's talk about what motorbike does. Astral travel, higher dimensional energy, big thing there, higher dimensional energy, aids communication with extraterrestrials, if you believe in such things, which I do, um, channeling and increases power for all spells and rituals. I will repeat that. Increases power for all spells and rituals. Moldavite. M-O-L-D-A-V-I-T-E. Go to Amazon and get you a piece. Save up your money. Get you a piece of that uh, Moldavite. Moonstone. It's the safe traveler stone. Age female reproductive systems. PMS. Hey, guys. Get your get your girls um, some of the, some of this uh, moonstone. It'll help with their PMS. It also helps with a healthy pregnancy. Moss agate that helps with depression. Um, helps intellectuals access intuitive. Onyx battle conflict. Psychic attack. Self control. Grief balances. And ground. So if you're having some kind of battle, or if you're under a psychic attack, or you're having problems with self control or grief, um, that right there will help ground you out and balance you out. Opal visions and enhances dream dream time. Let's see, I'm skipping through some of these. Pyrite. Grounding, focus, productivity, logic, and um, memory. Pyrite would also be good for money because it's fool's gold. Remember what I said about pyrite? Do not put pyrite in salt water. It will rust. Alright. Um, then we have different types of quartz. So I'm going to pick out just a few. Aqua Aura Quartz. If you want to have a piece of Aqua Aura Quartz, get you a piece of Aqua Aura Quartz. Okay? Put that right there, right under Motivite. Alright? Um, frees you from limitations. Create space for something new. Who, who doesn't need that? I mean, come on. It, we all need Aqua Aura Quartz. The next um, quartz that's very common is Clear Quartz. It is the most powerful healing stone. So basically, it is the most powerful healing stone that, that there is. You can add it to your other green stones and make it even, you know, amplify those. Alright, um, Rose Quartz. Self-love, purest love, heals hearts, calms, greatly smooths. Let's see. Smoky quartz. Another another one is detoxification, release fear, and um, radiation. Um, basically, the re release fear is the biggest one there, and for helping with detoxification. Um, Rotorite, which is another one you'll find in the in the stores, is self-esteem, self-confidence, and achieving potential. Um, let's see, you'll see selenite a lot. Awareness, flexibility, and it's an angel stone. Let's see, sodalite, you'll see that a lot. And if you want to have to spell that, S-O-D-A-L-I-T-E. Good for ADHD, logic, trust, you know, it eliminates confusion, general communication stone. So if you know anyone that has ADHD, this would be a perfect stone for them. Um, Snowflake Obsidian. Women's Protective Stones teaches you to value mistakes as well as successes. Also good for mental illness. 
and also good for ADHD. Also good for protection. Any kind of black stone is good for protection. Tiger's eye blue. So the blue tiger's eye. There's three different kinds of tiger's eye if you didn't know that. You have the blue, the gold, and the red. The blue one takes away the blues and helps with any kind of phobias. Tiger's eye gold is for grounding, balance, good to have with you during tests and meetings. This stone is also a very powerful protective stone. Tiger's eye red disciplines emotional and sexual life by bringing light where one must be practical. And sometimes you can get them in like um, um, like blue and gold together. And if you or you know two different um, kinds of tiger's eye on the same piece, and that right there will be known as a Hawk's eye, which is where you get um, all of those attributes combined together. If you don't have a Hawk's eye, when you go to the Jimmy Mineral Show, ask for it. Get you a piece of a Hawk's eye. Let's see. Turquoise. Uh, let's see. Matter Healer provides healing from Force of Spirit. Symbolizes our source for love and healing, communication, uplifting, and bonding. Turquoise is also good for money. Let's see. Then, uh, lastly, I want to go through the metals. Copper. Excellent energy conductor. Sends and amplifies thoughts. Good for arthritis, circulation, and charges yang, which is male energy. So, copper is good for a lot of different things. Sometimes you'll find those little, little stone, those little wraps, and, um, and you kind of open it up and put the stone inside, and then you can wear it around your neck, like a necklace. So, um, or if you can have a if you have a wand, you can wrap wrap uh, copper wire around it and add to it to help add to its energy conductor portion of it. Gold is a stabilizer, a balancer, grounder, all-purpose healer. Attracts prosperity, increases energy, and char charges yang energy. So it charges male energy. White gold combines the sun and the moon energies, higher conductor and amplifier, charges both yin and yang energy, so both charges both male and feminine energy. Silver is for the mental, the emotional, physical releasing and cleansing, cool and soothing effect, and charges the yin, the feminine energy. Platinum charges yin energy. So, that is your short um, lesson on stones, and what I recommend for you um, is that you get you a piece of moldavite, get you a hawkeye, get you some of that red, um, red fire agate, um, I don't think, did we go over hematite? I don't think there's, I don't think I did go over hematite. No, we did not go over hematite, but hematite is that, that, that black reflective stone, and it protects you from evil, it's good for grounding, and it's a very good stone that you might, that I highly recommend adding to your little collection. And I also highly recommend uh, the gold tiger's eye for protection. And a piece of obsidian to carry around with you at all times. This is something that will help protect you. Um, I hope that you, this has been of use, and I hope you have a nice rest of your day. Peace and uh, merry part until we meet again, and blessed be.